Chromoclone PVS impression material captures even the smallest details, enabling you to make accurate impressions the first time, every time. The low contact angle easily wets the tooth, allowing the material to flow smoothly, eliminating bubbles in the final impression. The material is hydrophilic not only during application, but also during immediate pouring of gypsum. It contains special reinforcing branched silicone resins for superior tear resistance so impressions can be easily removed. And its elastic recovery ensures dimensional stability for weeks, allowing you to pour at your convenience. Good impressions begin where great tissue management ends. Predictable hemostasis and retraction provide impressions with detailed margins and decrease costly impression remakes. Use ultra-pack knitted cord soaked in viscostat or viscostat clear to obtain profound hemostasis. Using the double core technique allows the viscostat to penetrate deep into the sulcus. After hemostasis is achieved, remove the larger cord prior to making the impression. To make the impression, you will need chromoclone PVS light or super light body, and heavy or medium body, a dispensing gun, tray adhesive, and a standard disposable impression tray of your choice. Make sure that the tray is fitted to the patient before beginning the procedure. It should extend past the last molar and fully seat in the mouth. First, brush the tray adhesive onto the impression tray and wait until the adhesive is dry. The adhesive holds the impression material tightly to the tray. This prevents the impression from distorting when removing the material from the tray. Inject chromoclone PVS light or super light body material directly onto the teeth. The light body flows easily and sets after just a few minutes. Air thin the material on the teeth to get full coverage and eliminate voids. Then apply a second layer of chromoclone PVS light body. Fill the impression tray with chromoclone PVS heavy or medium body. Make sure to not lift the tip out of chromoclone as this will introduce air into the impression material. Place the impression tray in the mouth. Make sure the tray is centered and gently push the tray onto the teeth. Take care to not force the tray. You do not want the patient to bite down to the impression tray as that can distort the impression. You want to keep some impression material between the teeth and tray to get the optimal impression. Leave the tray in the patient's mouth until the material is fully set. After it has set, remove the tray. Check the margins and preparation for air or saliva bubbles. After the final impression is inspected, remove the second retraction cord.